Hello and welcome to the Vault of Terror. My name is Ed and today we're going to be looking at the Tyranids, specifically looking at the Hive Mind. Now, emblematic of the Tyranid existence, the Hive Mind is what turns the Hive Fleets from destructive weapons to one of the most dangerous threats in the galaxy's known history. It is a gestalt collective consciousness, psychically connecting every Tyranid, and an abstract intelligence focused entirely on the Tyranid's most primal instincts to devour the galaxy and destroy anything that opposes them, with its effects not only limited to the Tyranids but to many other species as well. In order to understand the hive mind, there must be a readjustment of the understanding of the word mind. It is not a small single consciousness similar to the way a human mind works, thinking only in linear terms. This is an amalgamation and conglomeration of the psychic might of the Tyranid race, trillions upon trillions of minds linked together performing hundreds of billions of different operations every moment, from fighting on countless fronts to directing starships and consuming planetary biospheres whole. However, regardless of its complexity, the hive mind has at its core one imperative, to consume all life in the galaxy. The psychic presence of the hive mind is a mass of power, and whilst it is not directly linked to the warp, it does have a relationship with it. Known as the shadow in the warp, this psychic presence permeates warp space around the hive fleet for light years. Whether an intentional effect or just a byproduct of its enormity, this shadow prevents warp communication and distorts warp space travel, making it extremely difficult to travel via the warp to a location that contains a hive fleet, with any ship already in the warp near this shadow being thrown wildly off course, the route becoming wild and distorted in the presence of the hive mind's shadow. The mental effects of the shadow are also something that can be palpably measured. Even among the defenders and other sentient life forms on the planet, the shadow of the hive mind creates a panic and terror, cutting off their lines of communication, blocking their ships from travelling, and even driving many of their psychers, like the long distance astropaths, insane. After it cuts off psychic communication and warp travel, the effect then permeates the mind of all creatures in its shadow, creating a primal malaise around a creature's senses, preying on the primitive part of a being's mind, and magnifying their terror into something that sows confusion and chaos even before the Tyranids arrive, softening up their prey as they enter the system to consume. It takes great mental prowess to resist this call, and even the mighty Adeptus Astartes can be ensnared by this, throwing their emotions out of balance and requiring a monumental effort by each marine to counter. Even without knowledge of who or what is coming, the shadow in the warp ensures that the population will be gripped by fear when the High Fleet finally arrives. The effects of this shadow are varied depending on the planet's size and the approaching fleet, amongst other things. Some of the noted examples are the average citizen experiencing uneasiness and terrible nightmares, a psycho or anybody with warp sensibility suffering headaches, uncontrollable screaming, bleeding from the eyes and unconsciousness, blockages of astropathic signals, complications in warp travel, and disruptions of standard psychic phenomena on a planet. Now, there have been attempts to communicate with the hive mind through its shadow at numerous points in the last 300 years, usually during every hive fleet's incursion. Almost all these attempts result in the psyche being driven insane or dying, their mind hemorrhaging in the attempt to connect to such a powerful entity. Their failures are either because of the hive mind's power or its utter incomprehensibility for human minds to process. Process. One of the exceptions to this rule is Chief Liberian Tigurius of the Ultramarines, who seems to have some form of psychic connection to the Hive Mind, allowing him to make incredibly accurate predictions about the Hive Mind's actions and movements. Whilst some speculate it is just general precognition unrelated to the Hive Mind, his accuracy, however, relating solely to the Tyranids indicates a far deeper connection than previously thought. Some worry that this could work both ways, linking the Hive Mind to human thoughts and actions, but there has been no evidence evidence of this at this stage. Other than a chief librarian, no psyche in the Imperium can connect to the Hive Fleets in this way, and is thought only the Emperor himself would have the psychic might to make a true connection, at least among Imperial forces. On a biological level, the Hive Mind is not an all-permeating force. Among the Tyranid ground forces, many of their entities are too small-minded to connect to the Hive Mind unaided. They require a relay, some sort of psychic conduit that links them to the Hive Mind and provides its orders to them. This conduit is created via units known as synapse organisms. 
Now, synapsis in a human allows the separate nerves to communicate with one another, forming the nervous system. A synapse organism serves the same function in tyrannid forces. Usually entities known as command organisms by the Imperium, they are normally at the forefront of the fighting and provide the anchor for the tyrannid combat organisms, directing their actions and allowing them to work as one. This also presents a weakness for many enemies to exploit, as killing the synapse organisms in a force can cut the connection to the hive mind for the lesser tyrannid organisms. They can retain the semblance of order for a short time, their last orders preserved until a new synapse organism claims them, but if left without one, the entities revert to a primal, beast-like intelligence, with only instincts to guide them, and many succumbing to the ravages of nature with their design unable to adapt without the hive mind's directions. Organisms who can act as synaptic links are the hive tyrants, dominatrixes, turvigons, tyranid primes, zoanthropes, tyranid warriors, tyranid shrikes, trigon primes, and malceptors. However, it should be noted that tyranids cannot always operate in direct synaptic contact with the hive mind. There are infiltration units like the lictor and the gene stealers who must operate far beyond the comfort and control of the hive mind in carrying out their tasks. This requires the more primitive forms to form a more localized version of the hive mind to use in their operations and around the galaxy, known as the brood mind. The brood mind connects all those organisms in a local brood, usually gene stealers, under one prime entity, carrying out its orders and commands until they can be reunited with the hive mind and follow its direct commands. The brood mind itself does not only control pure blooded gene stealers, but also has an effect on those implanted with gene stealer genetic material, like the gene stealer cult members scattered throughout the Imperium, each fulfilling the brood mind's wish on behalf of the hive mind. Each individual brood mind can spend decades building up its power, becoming like like a beacon to the hive mind. The more powerful the brood mind, the more gene stealers and cultists that exist, and so the stronger the source of life the hive mind may be able to consume. When the hive mind connects with a brood mind for the first time, it usually sends the gene stealers into a frenzied orgy of slaughter and violence, whilst the cultists carry out terror strikes among the population, softening up the defences for the hive fleet's arrival. At the end of the day, turning back to the hive mind, there are many theories in the Imperium as to what the hive mind is and how it operates on such a vast distance of space, with some theorizing the main bulk of its power still lies somewhere outside the galaxy, along with a vast super hive fleet that is still approaching the galaxy. There are two major theories about the hive mind in the Imperium. Some say that it is either a vast interconnected psychic network, fathomless and given intelligence purely through its size and complexity. Others say that it is really the psychic presence of some sort of super tyranid organism, using the tyranid as puppets to achieve its own ends in the galaxy. Now, a more niche theory amongst others is that the Tyranids are actually an errant creation of the Old Ones, returning now to fulfil some sort of unknown organic programming to purge all life in the Milky Way. Regardless of its origin, it is an undisputed fact that the hive mind is vast and its machinations may spell the end for both the Imperium and all life in the 41st millennium. So that's everything I wanted to mention today about the hive mind of the Tyranids. If you have anything to add, please leave it in the comment section below or send me a private message. Next time we will be returning to the Imperium to backfill a few more bits and pieces about either the Space Marines or the Imperial Guard, trying to catch us up to some of the more details of the modern times, and also maybe updating on the current events happening within the Imperium. So I hope you've enjoyed the video today. See you next time on the Vaults of Terror.